A new dinosaur park just outside Washington, D.C. allows anybody from preschoolers on up to collect 100 million year old dinosaur and plant fossils alongside actual paleontologists. Folks are finding uh, fragments of dinosaur bone, teeth from uh, crocodilians. There has been a small vertebrae found from a, uh, a small meat-eating dinosaur. There's also uh, pieces of fossilized wood that are discovered here. Dinosaur fossils from the Cretaceous period have been identified here since the mid-1850s as the land was mined for iron ore, which is what you see poking out of the ground here, as well as clay for bricks. These clay deposits that have the fossils in them are very rare on, on the east coast of the United States. So this is one of the only places where they're exposed and can be found by surface collection. Teeth are very, very shiny. They haven't changed at all. And so uh, sometimes you can catch a hint of light coming off a tooth. This area is clearly fertile ground for fossil hunters, which is what makes the park so unique. Krantz says it's the only one of its kind on the East Coast. Took a leg bone of a dinosaur out of there, took another leg bone of a dinosaur out of over there. Uh, the leg bones turn up occasionally. The most common things are plant fossils like the fossil wood and also little fossil pine cones that we find commonly. The park has been open to the public, weather permitting, on the first and third Saturdays of every month since November 2009, and it definitely has people excited. The first time digging, uh, you know, I decided to bring my three-year-old out, and he was excited all morning. He's been talking about a dinosaur party, so, um, and now we're out here looking for dinosaur bones. When visitors do find something, they alert the paleontologist on site. I would never dream of keeping anything. I just give it to the scientists and let them decide. And what's it going to do in my china cabinet, you know? <laughs> the Department of Natural History has agreed to curate all of the fossils of consequence that come out of here. Which means that any visitor to the park could find a fossil that eventually ends up on display at the Smithsonian Institution. For Discovery News, I'm James Williams.